Hey everyone, I'm Sam from BioCosplay. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made nails and glued fabric to the hands for my Boo costume. I want to make some EVA foam nails for the hands. So to start with that, I just put some tape over the finger to get a rough size. And I'll cut this out. Then we'll do some tests out of EVA foam. I think that'll be a pretty good nail size. I cut it out of some black 4mm foam. Now I need to round all the edges with this tapered bit. So the sides I'll probably just try to make round and then have the back taper in and then probably dremel out a little bit underneath the front. And then I'll need to flatten out the finger itself here so that this fits a little better. And normally I cut a little slot like this then I can slide the nail in there a little bit and it'll start to look like the nails actually in there so i'm making the slots for the nails on the fingers i've already done them on this one and they're going to need to be dremeled a bit to kind of even them out and you make them look more like a nail and less like a trench but the basic goal is just to, to carve out a flat spot and then cut a like half circle on the end there so you could do this with a dremel i'm just going to do it with a knife and kind of see like you know roughly maybe here is where i want it i'm just going to cut in And then kind of guesstimate where I want it to end. And then just carve that half circle shape. Like that. Then the nails should fit in there a little better. I think the nails are in a pretty good spot. I ended up making them a bit more round just because I looked at the reference more and Boo has more round nails. But I'm not actually going to glue these in until after the hands have been skinned because your nails go over your skin skin the hands. I'm going to spray down one side of the glove with the glue and then just flop the fabric over it and kind of massage it in there like I've been doing with the rest. I'm just trying to get the fabric in all the creases. I'm making sure it's straight. I'm not really worrying too much that it's going in between the fingies because I'll cut the fabric and shove it in there after this is dried. For the right hand, I just put it on backwards on my left hand so I can spray with my right hand. Then I've swapped the hand it's on to put the fabric on just so I can spread the fingers real good. Then again, we'll hit that with the hair dryer. Now that I've got the palm glued down, I can go around and glue down all these edges before I glue the top layer on. I'm going to use barge for that because I'm running out of the spray adhesive. So I'm going to start at the tips of the fingers, put some glue there, and push the fabric over that, and then hit it with a hair dryer while it dries. Then I'll go around the edges and do the same thing until it's all glued down everywhere. So now that this is glued down, I've got all these little wrinkles on the fingers because I didn't make a hand pattern I just glued fabric on there so I'm just going to take some scissors and nip these off and we'll cover that up later now I'm going to spray the back of the hands with glue and then put a piece of fabric over it like I did with the palm all right the fabric's glued on the top now I'm going to go around and glue down the edges before trimming off the excess the seams of the hand are a little bit rough so I'm going to put some quick seal over those like I did for the shoulders on the suit. Okay, I've got the hands in a decent spot. Now I'm going to cut holes in the fabric to slip the nails in and glue them down. So you can kind of see where the fabric dips in there already. I'm just going to slip in my X-Acto blade and cut along that. Then I can take one of the nails that I made before and just wiggle that in there make sure that fits and then I can glue it down. 
So I'm gonna do that with all the fingers first, just in case some of the nails were shaped for certain fingers. Like I know this one's a little bit smaller, so this is for the pinky, uh, but some of the others might also be shaped slightly different. So I'm just gonna go through, cut the fabric on all those, test fit them, and then I can glue them in. So now I'm gonna lay down a bit of barge on the nail bed, and then a little bit on the underside of the nail itself, and then I'll let that dry and get tacky. So then once that's dry, I'm going to put a little bit on the back of the nail as well, here, just so it'll stick um, inside the glove, and I'll put a little bit of glue back here as well. So then I'm just going to shimmy this in here, and then push the nail down. And then if it needs a little bit more glue, like it's sticking up a bit on this side, I'll put some more glue down, I'll just lift the nail up. Put some glue down and then wait for it to dry and stick it back down. If you run into any issues slipping the nail in after the glue has dried, you can also just load it up with glue and then slip it in and hold it there or reapply some glue if it's giving you difficulties. For example, with this one, we'll just get it all glued up, plop him in there. And then you can either hold this for a while until it dries or hit it with the hair dryer to speed things up a bit. I realized they didn't actually film the hands with the nails glued on and everything before coating them in rubber. So instead, here's a little preview of the video I'm going to be putting out in the future of where I coat them in rubber. You can kind of see what they look like here. That's going to do it for this video. In the next one, I'll show you how I made these ankle bits and also this belt. So look forward to that. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. I'll have links to everything down below. If you'd like to see more of my work, follow me on social media. And I'll see you next time.